about phishing and phishing attacks currently and being advised to be vigilant. But what is phishing? And if you receive a phishing email, how will you know if it is one? What clues should you be looking out for? This URM video will outline what phishing is and what to look out for so that you can identify whether it is genuine email or not. Let's start with what phishing is. Put simply, it's a fraudulent attempt to deceive an end user, you, into providing confidential information. Phishing emails are intentionally designed to look like a real email. In doing so, they're trying to trick you into freely providing sensitive information, such as passwords, username, credit card details. As a third of all data breaches come from phishing attacks, we need to know what to look out for and to be on our guard. But how do you know what to look out for to be able to tell if an email is genuine or a phishing email? Firstly, it's useful to be aware that phishing emails generally target individuals and play on basic human emotions, such as the desire to help. Let's take a look at it at an example where fear is being used as the emotion to instigate a response. So here is the email. At first glance, it looks pretty genuine. But let's take a closer look and go through the email step by step. First, let's look at who it's from. Does that look like a genuine email address? Would Public Health England really be using a Gmail address? Or would they have their own domain? Have you ever received a sales email from Public Health England before? And is it the sort of thing that Public Health England do? try and sell directly to individuals? You should also think about whether or not you've ever signed up to receive emails from the sender. The next thing to look at is who the email is sent to. Would you typically expect an email like this to be sent to everyone at your organisation, or just certain individuals or even a department? Also, look at the introduction to the email. Most emails will be addressed to you individually certainly if they were from your bank or a similar large institution. What time was the email sent? In this example, would you expect Public Health England to be sending emails out at three o'clock in the morning? What about the subject of the email? Does the subject relate to you or your role in the organisation? Are you expecting an email about PPE? Now let's think about the body of the email, the main contents. There are three key things to look out for. The first is any hyperlinks. If you hover over the hyperlink, it will show you what the destination is and the website that you'll be sent to if you click the link. In this example, it's not gonna send you to Public Health England website, but something completely different. The second is the content of the email and how it's presented, the actual body of the email itself. Using the example, let's look at the content and ask ourselves some important questions. Did I expect to receive this or is it out of the ordinary and unsolicited? How well written is it? In this example, for instance, is it likely that Public Health England would send out an email with spelling mistakes, particularly the name of the organisation? Is it grammatically correct? Is it encouraging me to respond urgently? As I said earlier, a phishing email appeals to our emotions and usually recommends immediate action. In this example, we can see that urgent action is being encouraged by the phrase, stock is limited. The third and final thing to be aware of with regards to the body of the email is whether there are any attachments with that email. Would you expect there to be an attachment to this email in the example? Here, it's urging you to click a link to buy PPE. So why does it need an attachment to it? The sender is hoping you will click on the attachment without having paid much attention to the content and, most likely, introduce a virus or malware to your computer as a result. I hope you found this helpful and I provided you with some insight and the telltale signs to look out for. If you are in any doubt as to whether an email is genuine, then contact your IT department. Thank you for listening.